Hey, sweet friend. Hope you're doing well today. I want to just chat with you and have a little check-in time because I know that when we get so busy and we're running in a million different directions that we really tend to lose our focus on taking care of ourselves. And self-care is such a huge component of keeping ourselves on track. You know, if you don't take care of yourself, then you won't be able to continue doing all that you do and doing the things that you love to support other people and to share your light in the world. So self-care practices are very important in being a spiritual woman and making a difference in the world. And it really helps us to balance out that masculine driven energy that so many of us have to constantly be doing things and being a go-getter, working on things and checking all the boxes. So we need that balance, the harmony of both sides of ourselves because it is about the duality that comes together in us. And this is really how we choose to honor both of those sides. So here I'd like to take it a step further and talk about how to create more of a self-care system for yourself that kind of brings the two together. And it makes it a no-brainer to actually let you bring a bit of that masculine side in as you plan and to really take care of yourself in that feminine self-care. And make sure that you know you're fitting, fitting it into your daily practice. And I'm really a big believer in having systems in your life. So it really helps you to function optimally because, I mean, I don't know about you, but I don't want to have to think all the time. And sometimes I just want things to be super easy and know exactly what needs to happen or what needs to be done to make it nice and smooth. So you probably already have some systems in your life in some way or another. Maybe it's getting ready in the morning or getting your kids to bed at night or maybe you have a system for just doing your bills and your finances. Whatever it is, I'd like you to also consider having a system for your self-care as well so that you know you can work it in. But instead of a system, which is such a masculine word, we can call it rituals instead. And your rituals can be whatever you decide on that you'd like to do on a regular basis to keep yourself taken care of mentally, emotionally, physically, and spiritually, right? Because we're not only looking at the physical self-care aspect here, but we're also interested in mind and body and spirit. They're all important. So ask yourself, what are some things that you'd like to do on a regular basis to take care of yourself mentally, emotionally, physically, and spiritually? And you can write those things down or just sit for a while and think about the things that you really enjoy or the things that you'd really like to bring into your life more. So just make that list or you can visualize them in your mind as well. And start to ask yourself, what would those things look like if you were able to do them? How would you actually be implementing them? And where would you be doing them? And how often or when would you be doing them? So just visualize those things yourself and visualize going through the motions of actually doing the steps in the process that you'd like to implement and get an idea for how it would actually feel to you and how you would practice them. So to give you some examples here, maybe you could take a nice ritual bath maybe on the full moon every month and you can enjoy the energy of that in the soothing water with some essential oils, some candles and your favorite crystals nearby. You might even add this to an evening of spiritual practice with a tarot reading or maybe just a cup of tea and reading a good book. Or on the other hand, maybe you choose to honor yourself and you respect your values every week as you shop at your local farmer's market and you take the produce that you buy at the farmer's market and you enjoy a nourishing smoothie every morning to wake you up. So maybe that practice for you rejuvenates your mind, body, and your spirit as you combine those things that you love with your values as well as putting healthy things into your body for the day. So those are just a couple examples, but whatever you choose to do should feel totally aligned to what makes you happy and fills up your cup. Make sure it's giving you lots of positivity and good vibes. There's no exact formula here except to say that you should try to incorporate some kind of self-care ritual in on a regular basis, and it would really help to cover all of those areas, mind, body, spirit, in your practice. 
That way you know that you're giving yourself the best opportunity for balance and good energy in all aspects of yourself, okay? So I hope you'll consider putting these things into practice and developing some kind of self-care ritual for yourself, no matter what it entails. And let me know how it turns out. I'd really love to hear from you and what you decide to do and any ideas you might have of how to bring more comfort and joy into your life as a daily or weekly, monthly practice, whatever it may be. Sending you light and love. I'll talk to you soon. Bye.